speaking of big and i don't know if this is true or not but maybe you can tell me because i always heard this rumor is it true that the main girl in the big papa video is a transsexual yeah yeah that's the girl the girl yeah 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 yeah, yeah. it was a transsexual yeah. in there and she ended up getting yeah i heard the same thing too man i think i think i think that uh that gingerbread uh <laughs> the, tra the transgender they kill yourself or whatever i mean not gene deal making all of us flood the comment section of biggie's big papa like it's a new release and to be quite honest after watching his interview i can never hear the song the same way again what do you mean the love interest in the song was trans with all the things i've heard about biggie honey it's hella sus also i don't know why i even decided to go down the biggie trans by rabbit hole because the things i dug up are shocking guys if you want to know the truth about what was really going on there stick around also what's this I'm hearing about Tupac Shakur allegedly being a B.I.H. for ops when he was in prison. This brother was not living the truth. Wasn't living who he was. I'll take that to my grave. I mean, I don't care what anybody says. Anybody who lives a lie is going to not heal. I mean, you're going, you're going to, you don't get away with a lie in any way. You, you skirting from the truth, your system knows that. And when it comes down to it, if you're not authentic, you're not who you are, you're going to pay for it. And that he was basically a gay man playing the character of a gangster womanizer? I feel like if you can't respect yourself, then you can't respect your race, then you can't respect another's race, then you can't respect, you know, it just has to do respect, like my mother taught me. So, um... What, we want, what we're doing is starting to Black Panthers again in Marin City, just getting first teaching pride and then teaching education and then we'll see where it goes from there. It's 2024 and y'all have literally decided that you won't let the legends rest. But you know what? I'm personally here for all that hot stank and mess. And we are going to begin with those allegations about Biggie. So anyone who has cared for some tea knows that there have always been rumors about how Biggie was into trans women. In fact, there were rumors that he used to travel to DC with Diddy and share the same trans women. Rumors, okay? Just rumors. Don't, don't, don't come after me. Anywho, We've had another section of people who have always been convinced that Biggie was actually bi. I lost $200 the other day on Biggie. You want to know why? On Biggie? Biggie on Biggie. Gay. You want to know why? Who can Biggie? No, listen. You want to know why? Because they betted me that Biggie was bisexual. Really? Why? I betted $200 he wasn't. Why? And they played four or five songs of Biggie saying bisexual. Talk about he is suck. A dad, uh, a a daddy did. RuPaul, uh, RuPaul, I'll f RuPaul. Some weird. Shit. He said some I wild. Shit. No, I, I lost two hundred dollars. Okay, when it comes to the allegation that Biggie was into trans women, a lot of people draw the conclusion from Big's music videos, like Big Papa. Like, tell me why Big had two trans women and one of them, Shamika, was in other Biggie videos. For reference, Shamika is also in the warning video with Biggie in bed, and she was also in the Flavor in Your Ear remix as she dances behind LL, who had his own alleged dealings with trans women. Child, I know what y'all are gonna say. Rappers don't cast the dancers for the videos, and most likely would have had a clue who was what that's true but when it comes to someone like Shamika who was not in just a couple of Biggie's videos but other videos for bad boy records they had to know plus in Big Papa one of the trans women is shown peeing at the urinal with other men meaning they either knew or put that part in there as a joke which also doesn't make sense at all what's more is that in the video for a flavor in your ear Shamika is seen right after LL hollers out he she so you cannot tell me that these people did not know exactly what they were doing when casting. Biggie probably also knew and approved, and there have always been two angles to this. One, he was just ahead of his time, and it really didn't matter to him that the women were trans. Or two, he was into trans women like people always suspected. I don't know. Baby, I'm not one to judge because to each, his or her own. And people really have the right to choose to be with whomever they want. What I'm more concerned about is what happened to Shamika because allegedly she was unalive. Now, I'm not sure if it had anything to do with her involvement with the rappers, but I I've seen threads
Woods claiming that her boyfriend was the one who unalived her. Now, do you think it had anything to do with how close she was to the rappers like Biggie? Still on Biggie and how he identified, we've had a few people claim that they believe Biggie was bi, majorly because of some of his lyrics, like DJ Academics, for instance. Then I'm looking at some of the lyrics and I'm like, yo, you look so good, I want to suck on your daddy's penis. I'm like, yeah, dick. That, that, that's actually then, that, that's a Richard Pryor line that he adopted. Uh, Richard yeah. Pryor actually said that in a comedy special. Yeah, but Richard Pryor was gay too. So well, it's like, yeah. you mm -hmm. getting your inspiration from gay men, a gay man found you, and the other guy is having freak offs with men. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, in the midst of it, it might, again, I'm gonna be honest with you, and I don't say that to like make anybody feel like I'm trying to downplay his legacy or nothing like that. Even if he was gay, so what? Yeah, so what? Now, something else that DJ Academic said was that he was making his assumptions based on Biggie's proximity. And he just so happened to be around Diddy and Mr. C a lot. And I looked this up. Did you accuse Biggie of being bisexual? Uh, I didn't accuse him of being bisexual. I said that there is a possibility he could have been. We don't know. I mean, he's, he's deceased. I'm not speaking ill of the dead. But I'm like, I'm, I'm only putting two and two together. His DJ was homosexual or, or bisexual. Wait, who? Who? DJ Mr. Mr. C? Mr. C? That wasn't his DJ. Oh. What was it? Mr. C discovered Biggie oh, okay, and brought well. him to Puffy. Okay, well, hey, listen. I, he I, I, was not his actual DJ. Okay. Well, I believe DJ Enough was his DJ. Okay. Thank yeah. you for putting me on game with that. Yes. But I'm just going by proximity. If you were around five homosexuals, I'm thinking you might who, be who else is gay? I mean, I guess maybe Puffy, Diddy. Speaking of Mr. C, for those who recall some time back, Mr. C was making a lot of headlines for sleeping with trans women. And after much talk of the incident in the media, C resigned from his spot on Hot 97. Remember, he had pled guilty to public lewdness and exposure charges after being arrested for allegedly engaging in an intimate act with a man in a parked car, and he was arrested in New York City after allegedly soliciting intimacy from an undercover male police officer? Ciao. Anyway, when he was back in the headlines for similar allegations, a lot of people were telling him to just out himself. And when he was finally ready to do it, he did. In an interview with GQ, C spoke of why he felt the need to lie about his engagement and the support he felt he would have from his old friend, Biggie Smalls. About how his regular engagements began, he said, the best way I can explain it is that I was so knee deep into doing it that it became a part of me. It's also the rush of get horny A and B, you know, one plus one equals two. You get horny, go out, get your ish. It became a part of my routine. Even though I was fearful, there was a part of me that felt invincible too. On how he felt the first time being caught, he said, literally dead in the casket in the coffin. Then on why he continued to lie, he was like, it wasn't even about losing the job. I was just afraid of what the perception was going to be about me and that people were still going to want to stand behind the Mr. C brand. How was I going to be able to continue to support and take care of all the people that I care about? He was also asked if he was gay and this was what he said. Absolutely not. And it's nothing. It's no offense to trans gender women, but I only get with transgender women for one thing and one thing only, and that's for oral. Okay. Like I said, I never had dash with a man. I never had dash with a transgender woman. Then he was asked about if Biggie would support him, and this is what he said. I know Big stands next to me. I have no question in my mind. In hip-hop, you know who's phony. You know who's hypocritical. You know who's real. So not only do I feel like Big has my back, I feel like every person that I have written for in their afterlife, I think they got my back as well. Now, the question many people were asking themselves is, why would C think that Biggie would be okay with what he was doing? Was it because he also had similar tendencies, similar engagements? As you think about that, let's move on to Tupac and why we also have people believing that he went through some nasty, nasty things when he was in prison. What happened here was that Tupac Shakura and members of his entourage were charged with essaying a female fan who would later be identified as Ayanna Jackson. Uh, I was like, hysterical. I know Fuller, it was like, calm down, calm down. He's like, Ayana, calm down, just relax, calm down. And I'm like, no. And I'm like, don't touch me. At that point, I'm uh, pretty much in a compromised state where I'm nude, my clothes are ripped off. I'm feeling very much vulnerable, you know? I'm like, you know, and he's like, listen, go to the bathroom, 
get yourself together. And um, that room had a bathroom that was off to the side. I went to the bathroom. And I, I kept telling him, I just want to go home. The Brooklyn woman who had previous relationships with Pac a few days earlier claimed the incident was perpetrated by Pac and his entourage when she met them in a hotel room at New York's Parker Meridian Hotel. But Pac claimed the encounter was consensual throughout the entirety of the court proceedings and even pleaded his case to the public by talking about it. But as you are aware, he went to prison because of the incident. He's steady telling me to stay out of trouble. He's steady telling me to get, get, get everything right back together again because he could have told me anything. You know, I went to the jailhouse and everything, and he gave me a lot of good advice. I appreciate it. Okay, um, I'll ask you all the questions I think um, your fans and friends want to know. Anything that you can't answer, you just stop me, because I know tomorrow is the arraignment. I get sentenced tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so so you, you tell me when your lawyers okay. have <laughs> asked you to stop. Um, the girl who claims that, um, what, what, what does she claim? Can't even say it, man. Okay, right. okay. Um, but it's a, it's a, it's actually, technically it's a case. That's, okay. It's a case in where I have females saying that. I, I can't say it, but okay. it just bothers me so much, you know what I'm yeah. saying? To go through my life and everything I did in my life coming out of a family and a household with just women, mm -hmm. to get to this point to have a woman mm -hmm. say that I took something from her. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I know. Okay, word on the street is that you had a relationship with this woman prior to all this friction. I guess if you could say that's a relationship, I bumped in a club, you know? I seen her oh. in a club mm -hmm. and, um, Something happened in the club, dog. I can't say over the air, but something that... Okay, let's use a clinical term. Um, word on the street? <laughs> okay, word is that on that, the street. Yeah, word on the street that, that there was performed. oral copulation. Yeah, she performed those dance floor. Uh -huh. Now, it's a lot of guys out there that can say what they what they wouldn't do and what they would do, but when it happens, uh -huh. you know, yeah. it, it just goes yeah. down. You know what I'm saying? And it's really... You know, and, it, and everybody want to be my, you know, it's just cool, but it happens. You know, things happen, man. It's like when you're in this position and this, and with the lights and the cameras and everything, people do some crazy things. And I do crazy things, too, you know? So, but I paid for that. I paid yeah. for, for enjoying that little moment. Because, uh... <laughs> okay, but, but wait a minute. Let's not get this, let's not get this mixed up with the situation. That was separate. That's separate in the club. Yeah. Then this same female, like about three days later, you know, she came, can't say where, she, she yeah. filed a charge against me and said that I did so-and-so and so-and-so. And so. Right. Now, even though, you know, I couldn't come up and say what her name is. I can't even say the woman who's charging me, even though she said Tupac Shakur. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. If I say her name, they can sue me. That's just how it goes. You know what I'm saying? So I just got to take the case and go to court. Now, even though the court, for that case, now that's not two years. That's, that's a far case. Oh. But these brothers, I'm getting sentenced tomorrow. You know, all the cases where I'm so-called guilty, they tomorrow. You know, all the cases that I can fight, yeah. they way in the past and, and they'll, they'll deal with me in the newspapers. Now, in 1995, Miss Wendy Williams started spreading a rumor that Tupac Shakur was S.A.'d in prison. And after she said that, Tupac spoke openly about Wendy Williams, saying he was hurt by her statements because they were disrespectful. In his own words, I got beef with Wendy Williams saying I got S.A.'d in jail because that disrespected me, my family, and what I represent. Tupac also said that what made him even more furious was the fact that people believed the lies. Now, as much as Tupac himself denied the rumors, the allegation was used against him in diss tracks by blogs and after a couple of people repeating the same allegation people actually believed it and that's not all we also had speculations and rumors going around that tupac was also willingly hooking up with men while in prison baby tupac himself never stated publicly that he was anything else apart from being hetero and he had relationships with several women during his lifetime he was also married at some point in his life and even had an engagement but if you ask some people they will tell you that his looks, behavior, and even social contacts were enough receipts that the gangster womanizer persona was fake and he was gay. In fact, many people point out to a video of Tupac that resurfaced from when he was 17 that also made a lot of people say that his entire womanizer persona was fake. My mother taught me three things. Respect, knowledge, search for knowledge. It's an eternal, eternal journey. That's like my hair cut the line, 360 degrees, fine knowledge, always. And, and she taught me to not be quiet, to, if there's something in my mind, speak it. Like at work, I, I can't hold a job. I, I just quit my job today, actually, because I wanted to come and do this. And they wouldn't let me. 
and I felt like it was important and it was more important than serving pizza and we had enough people so I felt like since I'm an actor they should understand they should have let me do it but they didn't and then I had a cold so they were making me work in a freezer and I'm, I'm really not one to be disrespected and I felt like that was disrespectful because I asked to go, you know, so. Most of the responses to the resurfaced video were pretty much the same, with people saying how they now believe Tupac was gay. As you can see in the video, Tupac was what some would call soft, unlike how he became once he started rapping. And what many people are saying is that the Tupac from the video when he was 17 was the real Tupac. I mean, we have people commenting things like people still in denial and think he was a masculine thug. And he got the right ear pierced. If you were 90s kid, you know what that means. Dude was gay. Those hands don't lie. Tupac was no gangster, just a good actor, and he gave the people what they wanted to see. Just sad that he thought he had to be someone who he never was and paid the price like he was about that life. To all the young people, before pronouns and rainbow flags were popular, an ear piercing on your right ear was the biggest signal. In addition, it was also revealed that Pac was a theater major at the Baltimore School for the Arts, and he danced ballet, which means that Tupac had the necessary training to pull off a character. And if you ask a lot of people, they will tell you that he did pull off that thug character pretty well. Add on to the fact that he was also a ballerina, and you will probably understand where people are coming from. In fact, we had people saying that those who are still in denial are just in denial because it's Tupac. But if you actually knew a guy who danced ballet and had the same mannerisms, you would be 100% convinced that he was gay. As if that wasn't enough, we also have Keefe D specifically say that in his opinion, Tupac and Diddy were a couple. At some point. Yeah, that's some weird shit going on, you know? Yeah. And what was Tupac doing at the party, yo? Him and Puff was there together. It was there, you know what I'm saying? Puff and Tupac was like a couple, it seemed like to me. Uh, it was just a lot of weird shit on it, you know what I'm saying? That's why I don't know how they fell out or nothing like that. They was road dogs, you know what I'm saying? They ain't even got pictures of them. He got on that, uh, Oh, uh, that blue sweater with the turtleneck. Him and him hugged up like this with the black hat. Have you ever seen that picture? Yeah, 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 yeah. That picture there, that, they was at that party that day. Yeah, it's just like a bunch of weird shit. Yeah, that's weird, dude. Yeah. Again, I know that some people will say that it all doesn't make sense, considering what Tupac also said about Quincy Jones. There was an interview back in the day where Tupac said that Quincy Jones asked him if he could stick it in his backside. The only problem is that if you look on the internet, you will not find that audio anywhere. But based on what Tupac said and how he said it, he supposedly made it clear to Quincy that he did not roll like that. So was he also just acting when he said this? Personally, I wouldn't even care how he chose to identify. But if he was being forced to be something somebody else, then that's something else. Well, I guess we are never gonna know for sure because Tupac is no longer with us. Just like we are never gonna know what really happened with Biggie because he is also not here. But I would still love to know your thoughts on people suddenly blowing up the claims that Pac was gay or bi and that Biggie was too. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below.